In this video, we're going to learn how can uh, one approach facial keypoint regression within the deep learning framework. In order to describe the more stable and accurate approach, we consider the ensemble of models. Uh, ensembles of models uh, in machine learning uh, employ multiple deep models to solve a single recognition problem. It is uh, in many ways similar to the backend approach because uh, it is uh, capable of reducing the predictor variance and that's very common to many branches of machine learning. Uh, we have generally a few options, one of which would be to just uh, train multiple models and uh, do simple averaging of their outputs. And that is something that has been shown to improve accuracy of supervised classification, for instance on the ImageNet uh, challenge. One uh, different mo uh, option would be to uh, perform course defined prediction in a cascading fashion, uh, in such a way that models in the next level build upon outputs of the previous level. We can generally just combine the two options to uh, build a stronger uh, predictive model. However, we will uh, be facing the performance issues probably then but we uh, don't really stick to performance right now. Uh, one can imagine a multi-level model uh, comprising of several layers of detectors where every detector is capable of predicting its own output without actually requiring any other model to exist. At each level, we may fuse the outputs of multiple networks to make key point estimation more robust and accurate. At the initialization stage, it makes sense to extract global high-level features over the whole face region. This means the texture context information over the entire face will be utilized to locate each key point. The networks in the following levels are trained to locally refine initial predictions and their inputs are limited to smaller regions around the initial predictions. Since the, nectars, uh, the networks are trained uh, to predict all the key points simultaneously, the geometric constraints among, um, among key points are implicitly learned. This uh, method uh, therefore can avoid local minimum caused by the ambiguity and data corruption and difficult uh, image uh, samples due to occlusions or large pose variations and extreme lightings. Why does it make sense to employ multiple CNNs at each level if a single CNN model can be powerful enough and uh, extremely complicated already? One reason to this might be that uh, different models may achieve different local minima during optimization while training and might differ significantly in terms of their hidden states. Averaging their predictions would then yield a more robust predictor with lower variance. This approach is well known in machine learning as bagging predictors. One other approach might be careful selection of face regions input into their respective networks. This would make the networks specialize more on certain regions but not the others, which would stabilize and make more accurate inference by enforcing stronger spatial priors. For networks at the first le uh, level, the only prior knowledge uh, might be the face uh, bounding box. The relative position of a facial point to the bounding box could vary in a large range due to large pose variations and the instability of face detectors. So the input regions of networks at the first level should be large to uh, cover many possible predictions. Large input region is the major cause of inaccuracy because irrelevant uh, data uh, may degrade the uh, final output. The outputs of networks at the level, uh, the first level provides a strong prior for the following detections, which means the true position of a facial point should lie within a smaller region around the prediction of the first level detector. So the second level detection can be done within a small region where the disruption between, um, from other areas is reduced significantly. And this process can repeat multiple times. However, without context information, appearance of local uh, regions uh, is ambiguous and the prediction is unreliable. So to avoid drifting, we should not cascade too many levels uh, or trust the following levels too much. So these networks are only allowed to adjust the initial predictions in a very small range. 
To summarize, uh, in deep learning, ensembles of models uh, work just as well as in so-called shallow or classical machine learning. We can cascade CNNs, and this is reasonable uh, because we can solve facial keypoint regression in such a way. Uh, uh, employing bagging or multi-crop evaluation is uh, a way to reduce predictor variance in deep learning too. And network cascades uh, are an option uh, if we are to uh, refine predictions within a strictly uh, restricted facial regions.